Hey guys, welcome back to the A-Bomb Grilling and Chilling Pad. I got a couple things I want to talk to you about today. We got some uh, new cast iron for the uh, collection going. I want to show you what I've got. There's a couple pieces that I've recently collected out picking and then one of them's brand new. So we're getting ready to do a, uh, some seasoning on two of these guys right here. So I've got both of my grills back there getting fired up. The Kamado Joe and then the, uh, the PK. I'm going to be using both of those to do the seasoning today. So let me pull you in here and show you what we got. Pretty excited about the, uh, the new stuff here. All right, so um, really excited to talk to you about this guy right here, but let's go ahead and start with the cast iron, all right? So we've got the Lodge 10 inch Camp Dutch oven. I bought this used up in Arkansas. Now, I don't believe that this is very old. This is more of a modern, probably made, I don't know, five years, maybe a little more within that time frame. And I don't think it was ever been used. When you look at the inside, it still looks new, unused. It still has the, uh, you know, the rough casting look. It hasn't been used a lot to build up that seasoning to start smoothing out the bottom right there. All right, you can see the bottom of it right here. It still looks new. So I think what this was, so even the, uh, the, the handle there doesn't look like it has any use on it at all. You know, it doesn't have any kind of coating on it. I believe this one was probably bought by somebody and they never used it. Probably sat in the garage or out in the, out in the shed or something for a while and it ended up in the antique store, which is where I got it. I got it for about half price of what you can buy this new. All right, these aren't very expensive. You can go to Lodge. I think this one right here is around 70, maybe around 70 bucks. This one is right here and I picked it up for $40. So it really doesn't need anything done to it. The inside's fine, but what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do a fresh seasoning on it. I'm gonna take this into the shop, get this little bit of rust cleaned off the outside of the lid, and then we're gonna warm it up. We're gonna give it a good coat down with our Krispy Kreme, and then we're gonna season it on uh, one of the grills over there, all right? So this is the new one. Now this is the 14 inch Camp Dutch oven from Lodge. All right, brand new, came directly from Lodge. I ordered it off their website. Okay, yeah, I left the book in there. They, they give you these books whenever you order these things new. This is the second one I bought. I've actually, I bought the 12 inch deep also, and it's, uh, it's put away, but I forgot to bring it out. But anyway, I don't have a 14 inch. I've been looking for one out in the antique stores and I haven't found one yet and I was getting antsy to have one, so I just went ahead and bought this guy brand new from Lodge. But what we're gonna do, I need to wash it. I have not washed it yet, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, warm it up. We're gonna give it a coat of, with the uh, Krispy Kreme, and we're gonna do a, a, a season on it. We'll put this one right up there on the Kamado and do that. But pretty excited to have this. I won't use it a whole lot and, unless I wanna make some big meals for you know groups. Whenever we have the family get-togethers at the campground, I'll probably put this one to use right there. But I'm still going to be on the lookout. I'm always searching, uh, now that I'm kind of building up my collection of cast iron, I'm going to be looking for these guys. You know, it doesn't have to be a lodge, just any kind of classic, uh, preferably a USA made, you know, good quality old antique um, Camp Dutch oven that I can uh, score at the, at the antique store or out picking one day. So these are the two that we're gonna work on today. Uh, this right here, here's an honorable mention. This is just a roasting pan. This is not anything old. It's the Emerald brand. Uh, if I had to guess, this is probably made in China somewhere, but I got it for a couple of bucks. And the reason I got it, cause this is a, uh, you can use this for roasting chicken. All right, so you can put, you know, like beer can chicken. So you can put some seasonings and stuff in there. Stick your chicken down on there. Maybe fill the bottom up with some potatoes and some vegetables or whatever you want. And uh, stick this guy right over there on the grill and roast the chicken that way. So that's why I picked this up. So I'm gonna clean it up and re-season it and have it ready to use. So this guy right here is what I'm excited to share with you. When we were in uh, one of the antique stores up in Arkansas, I saw this guy sitting on the floor at one of their uh, booths in there. And I was like, man, look at that. That looks like a little grill. And sure enough, that's exactly what it is. Look at that. That is a portable grill, cast aluminum. Cast aluminum like the PK grill over there. It's still got the original grill grate with it. Look at that. All right, and it comes apart just like the PK grill. See that? Two pieces. So obviously it was made for Pepsi. 
Uh, I didn't buy it uh, because of Pepsi on there. I bought it because I thought it was a really cool grill. I've never seen one like this before. So there was one repair done right here on the hinge. Somebody tried to tack this back together and it's, hold, it, it's held, but uh, it's not very pretty, but it's still getting the job done. So it's just got the little hinge system like that. So you can stick it in here like that and close it down. And it's kind of finicky a little bit to get it to shut, but so you can take it just like that and take it with you on your barbecue. See what I mean? Take it with you anywhere. So let me give you another look at this thing. This is who made it. It was a uh, Balcar made in Carrollton, Texas. All right. So I really don't know anything about this company, but obviously they did casting. Maybe they made products for many different customers out there, but pretty cool. So the top looks like a bottle cap. And on the inside, let me take this out. So that's pretty cool. They cast instructions in there. Use only six or eight briquettes, light charcoal burn with lid up for 10 minutes. When charcoal has gray spots, add meat, close the lid. Isn't that cool? So you've got the one vent there in the back, all right, on the lid. And then on the base here, you have a vent on each side that's cast into it. You have the ridges in the bottom to help hold the, uh, the charcoal briquettes up off of the bottom and help create a little airflow in there. All right, so somebody obviously uh, tried to get it cleaned up. I don't know if it was uh, used very hard throughout its life, probably not but somebody did clean it up and it looks fine just the way it is. So you know what? I am actually looking forward to using this thing and cooking some meat on there. It, it's great for, man, if you wanna take you, you know, an afternoon and go out to the beach or something, you know, go out to the pavilion and cook you some burgers or even a steak, that would be really cool to use or take it camping, whatever you wanna do. So this is definitely a cool antique grill that's new to me. I'm really excited that I found this and I'm excited to have it in the collection there. So we'll bust this out one day and we'll actually put it to work, break it in and cook some meat on it. So I'm gonna go tend to the grills and I'm gonna get these guys cleaned up, ready for seasoning. Over here off screen, you can't see it. I got the 10 inch over here on my burner just getting warm. So what do you wanna do? You wanna warm it up some. Uh, just get it warm enough where you can handle it and touch it, okay? And that's what we've done. I'm going to go ahead. I put the lid back down on the burner there. We're going to get it warmed up. This is what I use right here, Krispy Kreme. I've also got their stick. I may use a little bit of that today. Not a sponsor. This is just something that I've started using here within the last couple of months, and I actually really like it. Works great. But I seem to like the, uh, the cream better than the stick there. So I've already got it shaken up. Just put a little bit down in there like that and then start rubbing it all in nice and even. A little bit goes a long way with this stuff. There, I tore my glove. I just keep taking it and rubbing it into that cast iron there. I'm gonna put a little bit more here and bring it on around. Just like that. Let me go get the lid off where it gets too hot. Just coat the whole thing inside and out. I always try to get down these little flanges here where the bale wire goes. And we're gonna put a little bit on the outside and just keep doing the same thing. Using the gloves helps kind of smear it in there good too. But I just, I use these a lot when I'm working in the shop or I'm doing anything like that. I'm just always like using my, Plastic uh, glove works is the ones that I use. So the Crisby, uh, you can go to their website and order it directly from them. They also have it on Amazon. You can buy it. They sell it off of Amazon as well. And then I'll have it. I'll have it in my affiliate store there too. If anybody wants to, if they feel like shopping on my uh, Amazon affiliates page. All right. So I'm going to continue the same thing with the lid right here. Get a nice uh, coating all over the lid, both inside and out. And this thing, it'll have, that got a little bit too hot right there to, uh, to rub it. But this seems to do a very good job of your seasoning. 
and I use it every time. Now, sometimes I don't have this handy, but I always have either this or my Crisco or even vegetable oil somewhere around me. It's either gonna be in the house or at the camp, behind the campground. I mean, uh, in the back of the, uh, the box, I mean my camp box on the back of the camper. And anytime I use the cast iron, I wash them out with water and a scrub brush, rinse them out, dry them, and I will just put a nice coating of this right back on it or the Crisco, one of the two. Both seem to do a good job and I just do it every time and continue to try to get those nice layers of uh, seasoning built up, which only, I mean, you can only do by using it over and over again, preferably with some high fatty foods and doing this as well. All right, so. That one's done. I'm gonna do the same thing to this guy right here and also the 14 inch. Now the last step to this is go ahead and take a paper towel and act like you're drying it to get all the extra off of there, okay? I'll do that after I get to coating both of these other guys down, all right? I went ahead and wiped the uh, 10 inch off and got it on the grill. So we got this guy coated good too. Go ahead and give it a wipe, kind of get some of the excess off of it. All right, on to the 14 inch. I was gonna mention the, uh, now this is brand new. So you, do, you don't have to do this to new cast iron. They do tell you to wash it because when they ship these things out, they put a light coating of uh, some type of wax. It's like a rust inhibitor is what it is. And that's supposed to protect the iron from any kind of oxidation in route because there's a telling where these things will go and how long they're going to be in the package for. So, plus people handling them. So anytime you get one new, go ahead and wash it with soap and dry it. And then uh, you can just go ahead and oil it right then and be done with it. Or a lot of the pros will tell you, go ahead and season it whenever you get it. And that's what I like to do. I like to go ahead and just put initial seasoning on it. And then that'll be it. Now, if I take one like I showed before, that's down to uh, you know basically bare metal, we kind of cut the seasoning off by all the high heat and then the wire brushing and everything. Then you go ahead and you can do it multiple times. And, and what that does is that'll help establish you know a few layers of seasoning initially. Bakes in there and gets hard, starts creating that nice layer of seasoning there for you. So we are almost done. I don't have one with me, but you can take uh, a little brush and use a brush to get in here and get in, in these letters and things like that. But uh, I'm kind of working in there. I got the glove, getting it in there. All right. We are almost ready. Yep, and it's nice and warm. We are just about ready. Go ahead and wipe this thing off. I don't know if you can hear the uh, my neighbors behind me decided they're going to start cutting all their grass as soon as I came out here to film a little video. But that's how it goes. See how pretty that looks? It's going to look even better after that seasoning is on there. After it's baked on there, should I say. There we go. Let's go put it on the grill. All right, we've got our Kamado running at 400 degrees. So we are ready. Oh, it is nice and hot in there. Make sure that the lid, yep, we've got plenty of room. Let me get the lid for it. I think what I'm gonna do like this right here and make sure that the top will close and I think it will yep all right so I'm just gonna stack it just like that all right I'm gonna close her up I'm gonna start the timer we're gonna bake it at 400 degrees for an hour and then shut the vents off we'll give you a quick peek at the 10 inch and the uh, roaster pan just so you can see how everything looks in there all right, it is looking good. Close her back up, let her bake.
Okay, well, it's the next morning out here by the patio. Sun is coming up in our east right there. I really love the, uh, we've got the, the new green leaves growing all the trees out here. Spring is in the air and it's looking nice. Come out here this morning and cooked me a little bit of bacon over there on the griddle. Been drinking my coffee. Went ahead and pulled the cast iron out of the grills. So let's go ahead and uh, let, you, let you check them out after our reseasoning. Everything is looking good. So there's our reseasoned uh, 14 inch. Now again, this, this was not necessary. You don't have to do this whenever you buy new uh, cast iron, but they do recommend, some people recommend that you do that. So anytime I get a cast iron, whether it be new or used, I go ahead and uh, clean it and put it through at least one seasoning in, either in the oven or the grills. I, I've got to where I like using the grills out here now. It just keeps the smoke out of the house and I like being out here on my patio anyway, doing my cooking stuff. So. Here's a better look at the 14 inch. Seasoned with the Crispy right here. Take a look at the bottom. Looks good. I really have to say that I, I think the Crispy does a good job. There's, there's people that are gonna say, all you need to use is Crisco and that's fine. Crisco works great, whatever you want. We've even got people that say all they use is bacon fat, but not everybody out there cooks bacon or uses, you know, animal products. So this is a good alternative to that right there. This guy is ready to cook some meals. This would be good for some big family meals right there. All right, our restored 10 inch. Now I didn't do much to restore this again, but you remember the lid was, uh, was kind of rusty, had just had surface rust on it from sitting around for years not being used. The inside still looked fine. I hate how rough the inside of this one is right there. You know, some people like to take in, go in here and sand this down and smooth it down with some uh, emery paper, sanding disc. It's not a big concern to me. The more that you use this thing, the slicker that this thing will start getting, the more coatings that you, you know, you get cooked in there, the seasoning layers. So it's not really that important to me. It's not gonna affect the way it cooks. Some people just like it smoother. We all, we all like a smooth bottom, but it's not necessary. But anyway, Crisby did a good job on that. Let's take a look at the bottom here. Looks good. All right, and then of course we got our other one. This is the uh, Emerald brand uh, roasting pan that I bought at an antique store for a couple of bucks. Went ahead and got a new uh, coating on there as well. So. You take your whole chicken, stick it down on this centerpiece right here, put your herbs and spices in there, some beer or fluid, whatever you want. Fill it up with some veggies and uh, take this thing, you can put it in the oven. In my case, I'll be sticking it right over there on the grill. So this is just a nice one to have, you know, a couple dollars, can't go wrong having that in the stash there. So the 10 inch, what I really like about this size, it's a, it's a smaller, more compact size and it's great for obviously smaller amounts of food. I think this is good for desserts, cakes. You know, if you're gonna do like a, you know, a, a box cake meal, you know, this is a perfect size for that right there or a small amount of dessert. Or in my case, sometimes we just wanna cook a little bit for Abby and I, perfect size to use. So I did not have this size. I've got a 10 inch in the uh, Camp Chef, the 10 inch Deluxe, which is a lot taller. It's got the taller lid on it. So this is just a nice little compact size to have for uh, smaller amounts of cooking there, especially for those desserts. So really excited about having that guy right there. And you can, <laughs> it's neat seeing the two together, the 14 and the 10 and seeing the, the size comparison of the two. So that's it, you know, we got our cast iron season. I just wanted to share this a little bit with you. And of course, whenever we uh, put these guys to use and cook some food, I'll be sure to share it there on the channel and uh, what, what we cook in it. So this is how I uh, do my cast iron. Everybody's kind of got their own way of doing it and uh, they all work. You know, whether you want to use some uh, vegetable oil, Crisco, try this stuff right here, this Crispy, bacon fat, it, it all works and all gets the job done. Uh, but I do really like using this product right here. I think it does an excellent job on the uh, cast iron there. So that's it. We'll see you guys on the next video. All right, later.